today I'm going to be showing you how to make homemade fishing lures, fishing spinners. And uh, on the table you see some of the things that you're going to need. Uh, you're going to need at least two pairs of needle nose pliers. You're going to need some assorted beads of colors and size of your choosing. One caution is to make sure that the hole in the bead is large enough to accept your wire. You're going to need some um, brass clevises and as well as some very small split rings. Both of these you can get at any kind of bigger fishing stores like a Bass Pro Shops, something like that. Uh, you can also find them online various places. You're going to need lead sinkers, egg sinkers, so you can either get these oval shaped ones Sometimes you can find these uh, like worm sinker type things, so they're tapered. Um, you're going to need to steal a bunch of your mom or your girlfriend or your wife's fingernail polish. And you're not going to want to give it back to them because you're going to be painting on lead. So you don't want them painting that lead stuff on their nails. Um, just choose whatever colors you want, whatever colors, the lures that you like to use are colored. Um, you're going to need a wire, wire clippers. And last of all, you're going to need your wire. Now you can use various things for the wire. You can use paper clips. Um, just make sure the size that you use is appropriate. You can use this copper cable. This is the inside of a TV cable like the same cable that goes from the TV outlet in your wall into your TV. That's what this is, and this is a very good resource because it's uh, copper, so it won't rust. You don't have to worry about that. All right, so first you're going to want to take your lead weights, um, arrange them. What I usually do is tie them on a string with a knot in between each one to keep them separated, and then suspend them. You can hang them up or whatever. And then take your um, whatever fingernail polish is that you are wanting to use and just paint them. As you can see, these ones I have um, with a half blue, half white, and then some orange pinkish dots. Um, this one I've actually used the fingernail polish as glue to put a silver cap on top. And then this one's just a bright yellow orange. Um, the beads that I use are just some random beads, different colors that fit the colors of the spinner blades that I need. And I've been getting the spinner blades at a local store. You can also find them online. Um, you can find them many colors. most of the popular spinner shapes and you can even make uh, like spinner bait type things so let's get started alright so now I've got all my stuff ready to assemble I've got my clevis I've got my spinner blade, I've got my body weight painted, and I've got some random beads that I'll explain as we go along, and then I've got my hook which I have pre-wrapped uh, using a feather. You can use either a standard hook um, or a treble hook. Um, depending on your regulations where you fish at they could change of uh, what you want to use so first you just want to cut a little length of wire so I've got this bent up in about the length that I need just to give yourself a good amount of scrap just in case so first step is bending your your bottom loop where your hook is going to go onto you can also um, use a small split ring 
on the end so that you may be able to change your hooks if you do run into areas where you need either a single hook or a treble hook. So you take, you can use these special, these are uh, jewelry pliers and you can see how they're all the way, they're round all the way around to help you get that nice round look or you can use a pair of needle nose you see a lot of them are pretty curved on the top so you can get at least a three-quarter round so you just want to take it give yourself a good amount of scrap and you just roll it right around so you have it like so so this is perpendicular now and you can see there's a little gap there if there's not to slide your hook on you can just make one okay so my hook did not fit the wire that I'm using I just cut apart an old one to try to show you but instead I'm just going to be using one of my split rings so that way I can install either kind of hook I want so just put it on there slide it on through so you can see there's a gap use your pliers and just close that gap so now it's stuck on the ring and then you want to grasp one edge of your loop like so take your other needle nose pliers and grab the loose end and just wrap straight down and around you want to bend it around as tight around the actual wire as you can and you can do it I usually try to do two wraps two full wraps sometimes I can stretch it across on do three you can just clip it off so you can get some end snips or just regular wire cutters make sure you're just grabbing on to the, the wire you want to cut and there you go so next you want to straighten your loop out so you're going to grab it with one pair of pliers grab the loop and then you want to grab your little twist knot that you made and just twist them back something like that so next you can put your body bead on you want to try to keep this wire as straight as you can alright so now that you've got your loop straightened and your split ring on the end for your hook you take your body and you take your painted lead bead lead uh, egg sinker and put it on then you're going to want to take another bead to separate, you want at least one bead separating your body sinker from the clevis and the spinner itself and it acts as sort of like a bearing I like to put them on both sides of the clevis that way I know for sure um, that it's got a bearing surface so I'm actually going to put a larger bead on there and then my small one then next I'm going to put my clevis on and you have to do the clevis and the spinner blade sort of at the same time so what I'm going to do is take the clevis and I'm going to hold it right by the center of its arch I'm going to take my spinner blade and just put it right onto it and then turn my hand so that it holds the two together and then thread this right off and so then you can see the spinning action 
and I'll put my top bead on. So there's your basic body. I've actually got my spinner on upside down. Make sure it's everything's good to go and you're ready for your top loop. So again you want to grab your round nose pliers or your needle nose. Get a good decent distance up from where your last bead is because you're going to need to do another wrap around and you can use that wrap to take up the space that's between the bead and your where your loop is. So you just want to want to take this loop it all the way around again So that's perpendicular. Then take your needle nose and squeeze the loop down. And then take your other needle nose and tie the round loop. Now on this top one I usually make it a few tight wraps because I think it looks nice and with this copper it actually gives you a little bit of a, a shiny front on your lure So once you have a few wraps on there, just take your snips, cut off your slack, and take your, you got to straighten the loop again. So we're going to take our loop and our pliers, take our tie off knot, and try to straighten that loop. I just put a hook on my split ring. I'm ready to go fishing. Thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions, feel free to post. Thanks.